Second Order ODE Learning Outcome At the end of this session, the students should be able to solve homogeneous and non-homogeneous for Second Order ODE. Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum. In this video, we are going to continue with Second Order Differential Equations. Okay, under second order differential equations, we have homogeneous equation and non-homogeneous equation. Okay, alright, under homogeneous equation, we have ay double prime plus by single prime plus cy equals to zero, or a d two y over dx two plus b dy over dx plus cy equals to zero. Okay. And under non-homogeneous equation, we have A, Y double prime plus B, Y prime plus C, Y not equals to zero. Or A, D, 2, Y over D, X, 2 plus B, D, Y over D, X plus C, Y not equals to zero. Okay. The difference between homogeneous equation and non-homogeneous equation are in homogeneous equation, we have right hand side equals to zero and under non-homogeneous equation we have right hand side not equals to zero okay and a b and c here are constant and a okay coefficient of second der derivative must not equals to zero okay because this is second order second order means the equation must have term containing y double prime or d2y over dx2, right? Alright, now we look at homogeneous equation under second order ODE, which is a y double prime plus b y prime plus c y equals to zero. Okay. And before that, homogeneous equation under second order ODE is totally different compared to homogeneous equation under first order ODE. Okay. So from homogeneous equation under second order ODE, which is A Y double prime plus B Y single prime plus C Y equals to zero, we can write Y double prime equals to M squared. Okay. And we can write y single prime equals to m, okay, which is m to the power of 1. Okay. And we can write y equals to 1, which is m to the power of 0. Okay. So from m squared, okay, what for y double prime, and then m or m to the power of 1 for y single prime, and m to the power of 0, which is 1 for y. Okay, so this is called characteristic equation when we replace y double prime, y single prime and y by m squared, m and 1 respectively, right? Alright, under homogeneous equation, there are three types of solution. Okay, first, if we have b squared minus 4ac greater than 0, so we will get this tip real root, okay? m1 not equals to m2 and the solution is given by y equals to c1e to the power of m1x plus c2e to the power of m2x. Okay. Second type under homogeneous equation for second order ODE when b squared minus 4ac equals to 0. Okay. This is repeated real roots. Okay. And m1 equals to m2, okay? So, we just write m only, okay? And the solution is given by y equals to c1e to the power of mx, okay? Looks like similar to this real root, okay? But m1 now equals to m, okay? And then plus c2 and then e m x, okay? But for repeated real roots, we need to multiply one of the term by x. Okay? Alright. And then, type 3 under homogeneous equation second order ODE, 
when b squared minus 4ac less than 0. Okay, so we will get complex root. Okay, m equals to alpha plus minus beta i. Okay, we will discuss later what is alpha and beta. Okay, and the solution is given by y equals to e to the power of alpha x c1 cos beta x plus c2 sine beta x. Alright, before that, what is i? So we can discuss it later. Alright. What is i? i is an imaginary numbers. Okay. i equals to square root of negative 1. If we solve using calculator, square root of negative 1 equals to error. Okay. But in this case, square root of negative 1 equals to i. Okay. We put i symbol. Right. If we solve square root of negative 2, we can write square root of 2 times negative 1. Okay, so we can split to square root of 2 times square root of negative 1. Okay, and we have set 2 and then we can write set negative 1 equals to i. Okay, if we have square root of negative 3 or set negative 3, we can split to square root of 3 times negative 1 or in properties of set we can write set 3 times set negative 1 okay then we have set 3 times we replace set negative 1 by i okay and if we have square root of negative 4 we can write square root of 4 times negative 4 and then we can split using the properties of set okay so we get set or square root of 4 times set negative 1. Okay, but square root of 4 is a perfect square. So we can solve. So we get 2i. Okay, square root of 4 equals to 2. And set negative 1 equals to i. Okay, for set 2 and set 3, okay, we just leave as set. Okay, and for square root of 4, okay, we need to simplify because square root of 4 is a perfect square. Alright? Alright, now we look at example 1 under distinct real roots. Okay? So, the second order homogeneous equation y double prime minus y prime minus 2y equals to 0. This is homogeneous equation because right hand side equals to 0. And this is second order ODE because we have y double prime here, means second derivative, right? And this is initial condition, okay? When x equals to 0, y equals to 3, and y prime equals to 0, right? Okay, from y double prime minus y prime minus 2y equals to 0, step 1, we need to find characteristic equation. Okay. Okay. Characteristic equation is m squared minus m minus 2 equals to 0. Alright. How to find characteristic equation? Okay. We replace y double prime by m squared. Okay. And then we replace y prime by m. Okay. m here means m to the power of 1. For y double prime, we replace by m to the power of 2. For y single prime, we replace by m to the power of 1. Or we can write m only, right? And then for y, okay, we can replace by 1. Okay, 1 here means m to the power of 0. Okay, and m to the power of 0 equals to 1. Okay, so we replace y by m to the power of 0, y prime by m to the power of 1, and y double prime by m to the power of 2. Alright? Okay, after that, we get quadratic equation. Okay, because the highest power of m equals to 2. Okay? And after that, we need to solve quadratic equation. Okay? Right, if let's say the solution is complex root, we never use calculator. Okay, we need to use quadratic formula. 
Alright. Okay. So, from this quadratic equation, we can factorize. Okay. Then we get M1 equals to negative 1 and M2 equals to 2. Okay. And from here, M1 not equals to M2. Okay. So, this is distinct real roots. Okay. And then, before that, we can also use this method, okay, to find whether this quadratic is distinct real roots, okay. We also can use b squared minus 4ac, okay. When we replace b, b means coefficient of m, okay, which is negative 1. We substitute here, so we get negative 1 squared minus 4 times a. a means coefficient of m, okay. Times 1 and then times negative 2. Negative 2 means C constant from here. Okay. Then after we simplify, we get B squared minus 4AC equals to 9. 9 means greater than 0. So when B squared minus 4AC greater than 0, means this is distinct real root. Okay. Or if we don't want to find the value of B squared minus 4AC, we also can directly Factorize from here, then from the answer, we get two different values of m. Okay, so from the difference value of m, okay, we can say that this is distinct real roots, right? And then, step 3, we write the general solution based on the types of root. Okay, from here, we have distinct real root. Okay, so the general solution for distinct real roots equals to y equals to c1 e to the power of m1x plus c2 e to the power of m2x, right? Then, we can replace m1 equals to negative 1 and m2 equals to 2, alright? Alright, so this is the final answer if the initial condition is not given, okay? But now, the initial condition is given, okay? So, after that, we need to find the values of C1 and C2, yeah, because the, in the initial condition is given, right? So, step 4, find Y prime, okay, because we want to apply this initial condition Y prime. So, we need to find Y prime first, okay? Find Y prime, Y prime means differentiate from the general solution. Okay. So, from the general solution here, when we differentiate y, we get y prime. When we differentiate c1 e to the power of negative x, we still have constant c1 here. Then, we just differentiate e to the power of negative x equals to e to the power of negative x. Then, we differentiate negative x, we get negative 1. So, we can put in front here. Alright. And then, plus, we still have constant c2. And then, we differentiate e to the power of 2x. We have e to the power of 2x, then we differentiate 2x, so we get 2. So, we can put 2 in front here, alright? From the previous slide, we get y equals to c1 e to the power of negative x plus c2 e to the power of 2x. And we get y prime equals to negative c1 e to the power of negative x plus 2 c2 e to the power of 2x, right? So, we can continue with step 5, okay? Substitute the initial condition x equals to 0, yeah? y equals to 3, okay? Into y, because now we use initial condition y, okay? So, when we use the value of y, so we, may, we must substitute into y here, okay? And after we substitute, we're naming it as equation 1, alright? So, from y here, okay, so we substitute 3 into y here, okay, and then equals to c1, we substitute 0 into whatever x here, so we get e to the power of 0 plus, then we substitute, and we, then we have c2 here, and then e, and we substitute 0 into whatever x here, so we get e to the power of 0, okay, and e to the power of 0 equals to 1. Right. So, after we simplify, we get 3 equals to C1 plus C2. 
After that, we can naming it as equation 1. Right? Because we have two variables here to find. Okay? Next, step 6. Right? Substitute the initial condition x equals to 0 and y prime equals to 0. Okay? Because we use the value of y prime. So, we need to substitute into y prime here. Okay? And after that, we naming it as equation 2. Alright? Okay, so from y double prime, from y prime here, okay, we replace y prime by 0. We put here equals to negative C1e to the power of 0 because we replace x by 0 from here. Okay, and then plus 2 C2 and then e to the power of 0. Okay, when we replace x equals to 0 here. Okay. Then, we can simplify e to the power of 0 equals to 1. Okay? Then, after we simplify, we get 0 equals to negative c1 plus 2c2. And, we can write c1 as a subject. So, we get c1 equals to 2c2. After that, we naming it as equation 2. Alright? Okay, then step 7. Okay? We solve equation 1 from here and equation 2 simultaneously because we want to find the values of C1 and C2. Alright? Okay. So, we can substitute equation 2 into equation 1 here. Okay? So, from equation 1, we have 3 equals to C1 plus C2. Okay? So, now we want to substitute equation 2. Equation 2 means C1 C1 here equals to 2C2. So, we can replace C1 equals to 2C2. Right? Then, we can simplify 2C2 plus 1C2 equals to 3C2. Okay? Then, we get C2 equals to 1. Right? And after that, we need to find the value of C1. Okay? So, to find the value of C1, we can substitute the value of C2, let's say, into equation 2 here. Alright? So, from equation 2, we have C1 equals to 2C2. Now, we replace C2 equals to 1. Okay? So, we get C1 equals to 2. Then, we can continue with step 8. Okay? Write the particular solution. Okay? Substitute back the values of C1 and C2 into the general solution Y. The general solution means Y from here. Okay, we substitute the values of C1 and C2 here. So, we get Y equals to, from here, we, we already have Y equals to C1, E to the power of negative 1 plus C2, E to the power of 2X from here. Now, we replace C1 equals to 2 and C2 we replace by 1. Okay, but times 1 we don't need to write. Okay, so the answer is Y equals to 2 E to the power of negative X plus E to the power of 2X. This is the particular solution. Okay, so this is the final answer. Okay, solve here means the final answer free from derivative symbol. Okay. Is my answer correct or wrong maybe? It's okay. We can check the answer. Alright, how to check the answer? From the previous slide, we get the answer y equals to 2e to the power of negative x plus e to the power of 2x. Right? So, from here, we can differentiate back. So, we get y prime equals to we still have constant 2 here. Then we differentiate e to the power of negative x. So we get e to the power of negative x. Then we differentiate negative x equals to negative 1. So we can put in front here. Okay. And plus, we differentiate e to the power of 2x. We get e to the power of 2x. Then we differentiate 2x. So we get 2 here. Okay. And after that, we differentiate again. Okay. We find second derivative. Because from the given question, we have second derivative. Okay? So, when we differentiate from 
y prime, so we get second derivative, y double prime. So we still have constant negative 2 in front. And after that, we differentiate e to the power of negative x. So we get e to the power of negative x and negative again in front. So negative times negative equals to positive 2 e to the power of negative x. And then we still have 2 here in front. Then we differentiate e to the power of 2x. We get e to the power of 2x times 2. So times 2. From here, we multiply with 2 in front. So we get 4 e to the power of 2x. So this is second derivative y double prime which is equals to 2 e to the power of negative x plus 4 e to the power of 2x. And then from y, y double prime, y y single prime and y double prime here, we substitute back into the given question. Okay, we substitute into left hand side equation, right? Right, from the given question, we have this, okay? Right hand side equals to zero, okay? So, we replace y double prime by 2e to the power of negative x plus 4e to the power of 2x and then minus y prime. So minus our y prime here, negative 2e to the power of negative x plus 2e to the power of 2x. And then minus 2y. Okay, y means 2e to the power of negative x plus e to the power of 2x. Then we expand here and here. So we get 2e to the power of negative x plus 4e to the power of x. We expand here, so we get positive 2e to the power of negative x. And then we expand here, so we get negative 2e to the power of 2x. And then we expand here, so we get negative 4e to the power of negative x. And we expand here, so we get negative 2e to the power of 2x. Okay? We arrange based on the same coefficient. Okay, to avoid error and easy to simplify. Okay, so from here, we get all term containing e to the power of negative x and this one all term containing e to the power of 2x. So 2 plus 2 minus 4, okay, equals to 0. 4 minus 2 minus 2 equals to 0, okay. So we get y double prime minus y prime minus 2y equals to Zero. Then we compare. Okay. From here, we compare from the given question. So we get we get the same. Okay. So it is shown means that our answer, okay, our final answer, y equals to two e to the power of negative x plus e to the power of two x is correct. Okay. All right. So this is how to check the final answer okay when we substitute the final answer and then we differentiate two times we substitute into the given question we will get back right coming up next homogeneous equation b squared minus 4ac equals to 0 which is repeated roots and homogeneous equation b squared minus 4ac less than 0 which is complex root. If you like this video, you can subscribe. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Bye. Assalamualaikum.